We are in our last two weeks of the regular season and most teams still have two games left to play. There's some really good games on the schedule, including two hot ones at the beach with Salem hosting Bayside and Cox visiting Ocean Lakes. Both of those teams are at the top of the beach. Salem is your only 5A out of the bunch, so you realize that the other three are competing for playoff spots within 6A. Ocean Lakes has been dominant. Uh, this week should be no different. Cox is going to run into a buzzsaw, the same buzzsaw that Bayside ran into last Saturday. They're all playing for playoff position. Salem slipping up last week against Lanstown makes it really important that they take out Bayside this week. Outside of the top seeds, you really, we really don't know yet who's going to be in the playoffs. We have the stalwart teams of Ocean Lakes and Hampton, Lake Taylor, Indian River, Oscar Smith, those guys are in. Grassfield's in good shape, but you also have some uh, teams, a number of them, including teams like Churchland, Princess Anne, Maury. There's a bunch on the peninsula like Bethel, Kickatan, who are solid middle of the road teams in terms of their place in the standings, but because the playoffs are so permissive, let's say at this point, you really have some teams that are fighting for those bottom seeds that will end up playing tough teams in the first round. But as we know, you'd rather make it to the postseason than end your season after 10 games. Well, we have a couple of key matchups in the Southeastern District this week, such as Oscar Smith visiting Kings Fort. Oscar Smith is pretty solid at this point. Looking at the beginning of the season, Kings Fork looked like a big challenge, perhaps for Oscar Smith, but Kings Fork has been lagging. Now they really need a win like they would get against Oscar Smith. There's some way they can pull it out. That would help them immensely in the playoffs. Nanceman River plays Grassfield this week. Nanceman River has been resurgent, winning a lot. They beat Kings Fork last week. A win against Grassfield would be fantastic for them. Grassfield's number three seed in 6A right now. They're solid, so there you see there's some key games this week that really present must-win situations for a lot of teams.